Welcome back to the Snowpoint cast. That are going to be going over a deck from RS to PK called Flagon Delta. Um, this particular list is actually Xylees. He's a member of the community, really active, played a lot of 2004 and RS to PK. Um, he got third in one of the weekly uh, Klazinski, it's not a Klazinski Open, I was about to say Klazinski Open, um, one of the weekly Klazinski uh, RS to PK events uh, with this list, and I really like it, and there's some aspects in particular that I'm really a fan of, and we'll uh, go over them when we get to them, but uh, let's get right into it. So starting off with three Trap Inch Delta. It's a grass type, kind of an interesting uh, mixed species for Flygon. So uh, 50 HP, which is better than 40. Uh, single retreat, weakness to grass. Kind of weird weakness to grass. I mean, it makes sense because all of the original types, uh, they like maintain their weaknesses. So like he's ground type, so he's weak to grass. I guess that makes sense. Uh, Bug bite for one grass uh, does 10 and the defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. This is an interesting attack. Uh, or big bite. I thought it was bug bite. <laughs> um, big bite. So, I mean knowing when you have an opportunity to corner your opponent for game uh, can be really big. Uh, I, you only do 10 damage, so I mean, you can't... It usually is not going to be a thing that uh, you can regularly do, but if your opponent is like... If they put a Holland's Cast Form up or something and they're just Delta drawing um, and they've only got a couple cards left in their deck and you're like really aware of the resources that have been played, this attack could potentially be used to steal a game. Uh, so good to note that you have Big Bite available to you that no retreat. Not as good as Paralyzed, but definitely decent. And then uh, the second attack for two Colos Mud Slap for 20. Uh, you also play two Vibrava. So there's another Vibrava that is actually better. I'm going to put it up. Um, but this one's okay as well. Uh, but the other one, it just has a, I think it has a Poke Body or a Poke Power that just like is a buff. Um, but this one, so it's got 80 HP, single retreat, resistances to both lightning and fighting types. So those are two really prevalent attack types in this meta or in this format. I mean, every attack type's relatively relevant because like every deck has at least some power in this format, but double resistance and not to mention one of them being lightning. Lightning is a really powerful type. Rayquaza Delta species uh, is a really powerful attack. You play, or powerful attacker you play one in this deck and there's a lot of other decks that play you know one of or even more um so that's a really solid resistance and weakness fighting type as well i mean executor delta you play one of those in this deck as well um, but there is some fighting types in this format that do uh do hit for some damage so good to have some resistance there and it maintains the resistances up to uh, the flag on so knock away for two does 20 uh plus flip a coin of heads this deck does 10 more damage so whatever uh Cutting Wind for Grass to Colors does 40 super mediocre attacks, um, but you just play those to play the Flygon line. So Flygon's got 110 HP, which is a little bit above the average, which is decent. Uh, it's both Grass and Metal type, so you get to use Special Metal Energy. You only play one in this list, um, but being able to use Special Metal to, to stop those numbers can be, can be super clutch. Uh, and then two retreat keeps those double resistances, like I said, and then it's weak to colorless. So the colorless weakness can pose a bit of a problem. Uh, Pidgeot is a really solid support Pokemon in this format, and it can hit you for, uh, the, it maintains the like dragon weakness. So it's kind of we weird that it's weak to colorless, but it makes sense when you think about it uh, in the sense of back in the TCG, there was only colorless and c dragons were colorless, and so they're weak to themselves. Uh, so the power, Delta Supply, really, really good power. So once during your turn, before you attack, you may attach a basic energy card or a Delta Rainbow energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon that has Delta on its card. So, I mean, this is essentially just a, a double attach from hand if you have uh, only Delta species in play. So, I mean, really solid card. You play a ton of uh, different energy types just because you you play a lot of different types of attackers and they kind of mimic other attackers as well. So it's good to have uh, lots of options to you, but Delta Supply, it's so good. And it's one of the reasons Delta Supply, Supply is so good is because Delta Rainbow Energy, as long as it's attached to a Delta species Pokemon, it is every color of energy. So really solid. And the fact that you get to accelerate that off of this Flygon, really, really good as well. And it just keeps you uh, keeps you flowing, keeps you attacking with whatever you want to attack with. And the attack on Flygon is actually kind of decent as well. So for a Psychic, or not a Psychic, a Grass, a Metal, and a Colorless, Swift does 60. This attack's damage isn't affected by weakness, resistance, Poke Powers, Poke Bodies, or any other effects on the defending Pokemon. So, I mean, there are some situations where uh, your opponent might have a have a Pokemon that you're not able to attack and just having that out to be able to swift through that is a uh, decent out for sure. And then you also play one of the Flygon EX. Um, it's mainly for typing, I think, but also because there are some... Uh, 
good board situations where you can just drop this guy forcing a seven prize game is another uh, decent reason to be playing some exs so the flygon ex delta species has 150 hp it's pretty tanky pretty up there uh two retreat no resistance and no weakness i'll take the no weakness that is definitely really decent on 150 hp ex um so the pokebody is called sand damage as long as Flygon AX is your active Pokemon, put one damage counter on each of your opponent's benched basic Pokemon between turns. Uh, you can't use more than one sand damage Pokebody. So sand damage is just really good chip damage. And in addition was Psychic Pulse. Uh, psychic Pulse for two Psychic and a Colossus does 80. And then it does 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon that has any damage counters on it already. So if you can find an early like turn two candy Flygon before your opponent has a chance to get set up, you can sand damage all their benched basics. Um, and then later Psychic Pulse starts to snipe them as well. And then all of a sudden you're just setting up for knockouts later, which can be really clutch. It really depends on the board. But Flygon EX is a solid addition of uh, for an attacker in this deck especially when it just flits, fits right into the flag online. Does it play four Holland's cast form? This card is really, really good. Um, so Holland's cast form's got 50 HP. It's a normal type, single retreat, and a weakness to fighting. Delta draws the attack on this card. Really solid attack. So for one, uh, Delta draw says count the number of Pokemon in play that you have that has Delta on its card. Uh, draw up to that many cards. So, I mean, if you haul in Mentor turn one, grab three, you're just Delta drawing for three. It's just some su good, uh, decent support for sure in the early game. Another benefit that Cast Form has is uh, you can do something like this. So, let's say there's already an energy attached to this Execute. If I have a Hall and Cast Form in my hand, Hall and Cast Form can also act as a special energy. So it's kind of an interesting card. If you already have an energy attached, you can attach a Holland's Cast Form like this, put the energy back to your hand, uh, and then Holland's Cast Form is worth two rainbow energy. So that kind of fits in this deck's theme of being able to attack with lots of different types of attackers. Um, you do play a ton of different types, so being able to control what your energy is in terms of like uh, Delta Rainbow Energy, in addition to like playing a bunch of other different different basic energies. Um, it kind of seems a little bit inconsistent even with the Hall and Rainbow Energy, but with Cast Form, it's a lot less inconsistent because you can search this card with a Hall and Mentor. Uh, so really solid card, super, super good card. Uh, pretty much a staple in every Delta Species deck. Such a good card. Um, so you also play a 2-2 two, two Executor line. So Execute, it's got 50 HP. We'll take the 50 HP, way better than 40. Um, single Retreat and a Weakness to Psychic. So roll out for one Colossus that does 10, it's whatever. Uh, Pebble throw for a fighting Akalos. Choose one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. This attack does 20 damage to that Pokemon. Kind of get a little bit of synergy with Flygon EX there, but uh, not, a, not a massive attack you're going to be using all the time. Uh, however, Exeggutor's attacks, you are going to be using a frequent amount because this Pokemon is just such an effective attacker for what it is. Uh, so Exeggutor Delta Species is a fighting type as well. 80 HP, a single retreat, maintains that weakness to Psychic. So Delta Circle for two colorless, it does 10 plus 10 more damage for each Pokemon you have in play that has Delta on its card. So if you have a board full of Delta Pokemon, you're hitting for 70, um, which one shots pretty much everything in the format that uh you can hit for fighting weakness uh definitely kills manectric ex kills bomb tar uh yeah so like so there's some really good uh fighting weak pokemon in this format sneasel ex as well um and just being able to hit that for weakness is the reason you play the 2-2 this is one of the more specific xia lee list uh perks that i really like about this list it's playing the 2-2 executor i mean you only play delta pokemon so for such an efficient attack delta circle two for ten even if you're just chipping for 70 for two is is definitely really decent um especially when you also have that option to split bomb so split bomb is executor's other attack for fighting in two colors split bomb says choose two of your opponent's pokemon this attack does 30 damage to each of them so again it's got some synergy with flygon ex there um but also split bomb is really clutched so you can set up ko's there's not a ton there is some big attacks in this deck that you can use i uh, like the flygon attack is 80 so that's like decently big and uh delta circle can also add up over time but usually you're going to be two shotting stuff in this deck so split them can be really clutch to set up those knockouts for later like if you see you got a 100 hp pokemon that you're gonna have to deal with later hitting it with a split bomb uh just to set up for a knockout with swift on a flygon or with another attacker um it, it can really help your long game out because you don't really want to be attacking things twice if you can prevent it so setting up the knockouts with split bomb can be really clutch as well Okay, uh, so getting into some of the one-ofs, this deck plays one Chimeco. So Chimeco Delta Species is a metal type. Uh, Mitsuhira Arda drew this card. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. He's such a good artist. Um, so a single retreat, weakness to psychic, Delta support is the poke power. So once during your turn, before you attack, if you have a supporter card with Holland in its name in play. So this is interesting. Um, for those of you who don't know, 
in this format, if you have a supporter card out, it doesn't actually just go to the discard when you play it. You play it and it stays behind, beside your active Pokemon. So if you have a Holland supporter out, if you've already played a Holland supporter this turn, uh, then you can search your discard pile for a basic energy card or a Delta Rainbow energy card, show it to your opponent and put it in your hand. So this is one of the best tech cards in this deck. It's so good. Um, it just keeps your energy really consistent because um, there is some energy removal in this format. Like energy removal two is a pretty common card in some decks. Um, and especially getting your rainbows discarded really sucks, especially, you know, sometimes your Pokemon die too. There's just energy just goes to the discard. That's part of the game. Um, but being able to recover that with Delta support is so good. Just being able to consistently get the type of energy that you want um, makes delta support very very good another reason delta support is so good is because every holland supporter forces you to discard a card so you don't really have a ton of amazing discards in this deck however uh with delta support you know as soon as you get a mentor going as soon as you get a chimeco on the bench you can just get those energies back every energy in the deck that you discard so you do have a, a target for your hull and supporters now which is another really cool benefit about this card uh i will talk about the attack for a second too hook for two does 20. i did get hit with a hook i think i was playing a, a friendly game against zaya and he hit me with a hook with a special metal on the chimeco at one point and i was just like oh that's like I, I don't know why but i was only able to do like 60 damage and then like the special metal plus 60 forced it to 70 and it was like this really weird situation that hook happened to be like decent he was kind of in a pinch but a decent attack in some situations so this will play one mew delta species um so this mew there's a second one spoiler uh there's a so this mew has got 60 hp it's a fire type uh single retreat weakness to psychic the first attack is called copy so for one colorless choose one of the defending pokemon's attacks copy copies that attack if uh, this attack does nothing if Mew doesn't have the necessary energy to use his attack. So with Flygon and Holland's Cast Form and all those energies, um, you get to, you know, pick whatever attack that you want that your opponent has. There are some attacks that you're just able to blow your opponent up with. Uh, one of the main ones that, I, that comes to mind is Lugia EX. Lugia EX is a pretty vital part of LBS. And just being able to go, I'm going to hit you for 200 back, but with a one prizer is uh, really clutch. And there, you know, it really depends on the situation. Like this, this card is going to be more or less useful depending on the deck that you're playing against. Um, but it is it is a really good card for some matchups uh, LBS especially it's really important to be able to trade effectively with LBS and Mew is one of the cards that lets you do that with copy really dependent on what you're playing though copy is just a really cool attack especially with delta rainbow energy you can kind of just copy whatever your opponent's doing uh, so extra draws the other attack for one fire if your opponent uh, has any Pokemon in if your opponent has any Pokemon in play, search your deck for up to two basic energy cards and attach them to Mew. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So, I mean, you do play uh, Delta Rainbow Energy. You don't play any Fire Energy in this deck, but you do put, play Delta Rainbow Energy. So I guess that could actually be really clutch, especially if you're like, like I said, if you're versus a Lugia, um, you can just extra draw, look for those other two energy types, or it doesn't even really matter because as long as you have a cast form in your hand, you can just get one cast form, put the other one back, and then all of a sudden you're just able to smoke a Lugia with copy for element blast so really cool pokemon there definitely uh, got some cool cool situations that that pokemon can be good in and then the other mew so this mew delta species is the mew star uh so mew star delta species is a water type it's got 10 more hp 70 hp definitely a little bit better there uh single retreat and a weakness to psychic mimicry choose one of your opponent's pokemon in play uh, mimicry copies that attack you must have the energy to uh, require to do that attack as well so mimicry is actually even better the star cards you're only allowed one of each star card in your deck so mew star uh unfortunately you're not just able to have two of those but with the other mew it not only provides a additional weakness that you're able to hit but um also just gives you that option to mimicry mimicry is better than copy because it can use any of your opponent's pokemon in play it doesn't have to be the active pokemon um so even if they got a lugia on their bench or a steelix on their bench for playing lbs they can you kind of just copy whatever they're doing uh so that is that's a really good attack for sure and then rainbow wave is actually kind of clutch too so uh definitely an interesting attack that can be good to snipe some pokemon like i said sniping has a lot of synergy with flygon ex uh, executor can snipe as well and the main reason that you'd want to snipe is to set up for a one shot later so you don't have to two shot something so rainbow wave choose one uh choose one basic energy card attached to mew star this attack does 20 damage to each of your opponent's pokemon uh, that is the same type as the basic energy card attached to Mew Star. So you only play a couple basic energy cards. This only works against fighting types, grass types, water types, psychic types, and lightning types. Um, but there are some matchups where you just want to hit a bunch of stuff with a bunch of spread, especially for a single energy attach. Uh, usually that's going to have to be um, the rainbow is going to have to be uh, required by a like a 
a delta rainbow energy and then you're going to have to have a different type of basic energy so it's usually going to have to be a two energy attack however that snipe damage it's a really important attack to note because it can be important later it really depends on uh, what kind of board you're playing but if your opponent just like drops a bunch of lightning pokemon it's definitely a, a decent option to have at uh, at your disposal Speaking of lightning Pokemon, uh, you also play one Rayquaza EX Delta species. So Rayquaza EX has got 110 HP. It's a lightning type. Uh, two retreat, no weakness, no resistance. Kind of nice that neither of the EXs in this deck have weakness or resistance because it does suck when you are against a deck that smokes you for weakness. That's one of the big benefits of this deck, I think, is uh, you get to utilize those EXs without having to worry about getting hit back for, back for weakness. So Rage Aura is the Pokebot on Rayquaza. Really solid Pokebody. Uh, if you have less prize card, or if you have more prize cards rather than your opponent, um, ignore all of the colorless attack costs for a quasi ex delta species attack so special circuit becomes one lightning and sky high claws becomes two lightning instead of four uh, so special circuit is an amazing attack again sticking with that sniping the the snipes it again it can be really important just to be setting up those two shots in the late game uh, and has some synergy with the flag on there so special circuit for one or two lightning depending on uh, where you're at in the game choose one of your opponent's pokemon this attack does 30 damage to that pokemon uh if that pokemon has any poke powers or poke bodies this attack does 50 damage instead so that is really good especially if you're down on prizes um just for a single attack you can hit something for 50 that's that's some real power uh so especially with rage aura this this pokemon can be a really good comeback pokemon you know there's it's possible you get a cast form knocked out early and then you can punish your opponent for doing that right away like they knock out a cast from like hi oh, i took the first prize and you're like bro watch this attach lightning rage or that's one of the reasons that you play so many heavy uh lightning energy in this deck because rayquazi x is such a powerful attacker if you do go down and compared to some of the other decks in this format this deck can be, tend to be a little bit slower like it's not as fast as Bennett um and some of those other decks so definitely good to know that you have a, a bit of a comeback card in rayquazi ex sky high claws is also a really energy energy efficient attack so for two lightning uh, and maybe four or four total energy depending on where you're at in the game um does 70 you know for the four that's not amazing but for two definitely some solid damage uh for what you're paying for there okay so starting to get into the trainer cards starting off with four holland transceiver uh holland transceiver is a pretty much a staple in every delta species deck such a such a good card in any delta species deck really or non-delta species just amazing card so holland transceiver says search your deck for a supporter card that has holland in its name show it to your opponent and put it in your hand or search your discard pile for a supporter that has holland in its name so this is not only great because uh it keeps your chime echoes consistent but all of your supporters are so good in this deck uh like holland mentor is an amazing supporter, and we'll go over those uh when we get to it but just just a really solid card just to keep you consistent because you have access no matter if it's in the deck or in the discard you can just get your supporter cards with this card so really solid card so play three rare candies um and at first class glance this might not make a ton of sense you know i have said in videos past that the rare candy rule is you play one more than that that you need uh and that actually doesn't apply here because this rare candy and then you play one more and then there's an additional one but the reason for that is because flygon is your main attacker uh and you have to play a full six or seven prize game uh for those of you who don't know when i say a seven prize game what i mean is you force your opponent to knock out five non-ex pokemon let's say three flygon and two executor and then you finish off the game with a flygon ex or a rayquaza ex and you force them to kill the ex so it's essentially like you're making them take seven prizes in that way um but three rare candy i mean to to get to that point in the game where you hopefully want to play that uh, long seven prize game uh you have to attack with non-ex attackers so that can be flygon that can be executor um but you play a fair amount of pokemon retriever as well so even though you're at a three two three line flygon is a very common target because it's your energy accelerant in the deck so it's going to get targeted a lot um so being able to just recover that with a rare candy is really clutch but yeah it's just three candy is just to keep you keep your flygons attacking for the whole game because you do have to play a full game and you're only playing a three two three flygon line so if you do want to attack with more than that um you're gonna have to recover some flygons and candy is there in addition with Vibrava to, to keep your Flygons consistent as well. So let's play three Windstorm. Uh, there are a ton of cards in this format that do some damage against this deck. Uh, one of them being Cursed Stone. Cursed Stone is a really solid card. It chips your Flygons, which really sucks. Uh, also chips your Chimeco. It just hits. You, yeah, you want to get multiple Flygons in play. Can you only use one a turn? Multiple a turn. Oh my gosh, you can use multiple turn. Yeah, so you want to get multiple flygons into play. That's so good. Um, but Cursed Stone can hurt you a lot because it just chips you and hits 
for multiple snipe damage for just staying there. Uh, another card that really hurts is Cessation Crystal. Cessation Crystal shuts down Flygon EX, uh, Rayquaza EX, Chimeco. Uh, it just really hurts. So being able to discard those and get them out of play so that your deck can function as regular is a, is a main reason that you play Windstorm. There's just a lot of cards that are really good that you're able to get rid of with a Windstorm in this format. So as I play two Pokemon Retriever, like I was saying, um, you have to get to the point where you want to put an EX up at the end of the game usually is what you want to do. And to get there, you have to attack with non-EX attackers. So with a 3-2-3 three, two, three line and a 2-2 two, two line, if you have stuff prized or if stuff died and you want to attack with it, um, being able to recover your Pokemon can be a big deal. One of the uh, really cool things about Pokemon Retriever is you're just able to bring back Muse right away. So let's say you're playing against LBS or something like I was uh, saying earlier, for example. And then they kill your moon. They're like, oh, I got you with an elemental blast. If, if you have like double flag on in play, you can go Pokemon Retriever, bring back a Mew, um, attach, double flag on. Uh, so usually the attach from hand is going to be a cast form because that's really clutch. But you go like attach with a flag on, cast form, put the energy back, and then you can just flag on again. That's one of the best parts about cast form that I forgot to mention is you can use the Flygon's ability, if you have two Flygons, you can use each one on the same energy. So let's say you have one energy in your hand and a cast form. You can just go like, boom, energy attach, cast form puts the energy back to hand, second Flygon, Delta Supply, attach the same energy back. So that's a really cool thing that you can do with that card. Um, Pokemon Retriever also keeps your energy attaches consistent because you can get that cast form out of the discard as well. Uh, but yeah, just really good to keep your attackers and energy consistent from the discard pile. Okay, so getting into some of the 1-0s, uh, you're going to play one Warp Point. This is another Cessation Crystal counter, really. It is important to switch your attackers up. I mean, sometimes you want to force your opponent to get out of the active. Uh, Cessation Crystal, oh my gosh. I didn't even really talk about Rare Candy, Windstorm, or Pokemon Retriever. Hopefully you guys uh, <laughs> have a proficient reading level and you can figure that out. I'll just say it briefly. So Windstorm discards all or two uh, tools or stadiums in play, and then Pokemon Retriever, you can choose one of two. You either pick one from your discard uh, and put it in your hand or choose three and shuffle it into your deck. So warp point, um, you have, you play warp point and then it switches your opponent first and then you switch. So you get that option to see what they put up and then you can counter it with whatever you have, especially if, uh, they have a bunch of stuff on the bench that, uh, you have some weaknesses that you want to hit being able to warp point and then be like, you pick bro, you pick whatever you want. And then since I play grass, psychic, fire, water, lightning, fighting, type whatever I want, I'm just gonna hit you for weakness. So that's a really cool part about Warp Point, um, just being able to switch as well, because you do wanna have that cast form in there early. So getting that early uh, or like switching it out later in the game is another reason Warp Point is really good. So let's play a switch, uh, kind of for the same reason. I mean, you wanna cast form there early, so it helps get your cast form in early and out later. Um, and also there's just a, d a bunch of different like points in the game where you want to be attacking with different things if you don't have a mew and something hits you um like let's say you get hit by an lbs because that's the example that we're just using this episode you get hit by a lugia and they blow you up and you don't have a mew yet you can mentor uh for a mew in a cast form and if you have like an energy and a flag on uh or two flagons in play rather you can just load that up right away switch and then it puts in the active and then you're just able to attack with it which is uh, another a super clutch part about switch being able to attack with the attacker that you want is a is a relatively important part of this deck so let's play one swoop teleporter. Uh, these three cards kind of all do the same thing, but different things in a way. So swoop teleporter, search your deck for a basic Pokemon, uh, excluding Pokemon EX, and then switch it with one of your basic Pokemon in play and discard the remaining, or discard the other Pokemon that you replaced it with. All remaining conditions, damage counters, everything stays the same on this Pokemon. So this is really good. Uh, I remember Zaya, he, he mentioned in a, uh, Zaya, I don't know how to say your name, bro. If I'm saying your name bad, I'm so sorry. Uh, Zaya, we'll just go with Zaya. Um, I remember he mentioned in his post that like the reason that he played this is because he's playing against Jason K and Jason K he loves Mewlock. That's literally the I'm pretty sure that's the only deck that he's played for all of his RS to PK events. I'm pretty sure he like started the RS to this is like a hidden I have no idea if this is true. This is just a, a speculation that I've had. But uh he loves that deck so much, and I think that one of the reasons that he actually started the RS to PK tournaments was so that he could uh consistently play that deck in a tournament again, which is uh, kind of interesting. Mewlock, really good deck. It's just able to lock your opponent uh in the active because it just plays a lot of cards that just lock you up and swoop teleporter. I mean, he was complaining, Z Zaya was complaining about how he had a cast form up and then there was nothing that he could really do because cast form, it doesn't do any damage. And if you can't retreat it, if you're all out of switch cards, like Mew Lock is just gonna burn your switch and your warp point. That's, they're just gonna wait until those are done and then they're gonna lock you up again. Um, You kind of just lose the game because 
they can just lock you infinitely and then you're going to deck yourself out before they do likely um so that's the reason he plays one swoop i think the swoop uh, makes a lot of sense i think swoop in general in most delta species decks uh just makes a lot of sense because you never want to cast form in the late game it's very rare it's actually more useful in your discard because you can retrieve it with pokemon retriever and then all of a sudden it becomes an energy card so and it's a dead bench slot there's just a lot of reasons cast forms bad in the late game but for just as many reasons it's good in the early game so you need to play four and i think it's a really good card but swoop kind of mitigates that late game uh problem that helen's cast form provides Okay, so getting into some of the supporter cards, starting off with four Rockets Admin, uh, kind of just makes a lot of sense. Rockets Admin is an amazing card, and like I said, this deck is a little bit slower than some of the other decks in the format, so being able to punish your opponent for going ahead um, can be really clutch, and Rockets Admin lets you do that. So Rockets Admin, each player shuffles their hand to their deck, and then they draw for their prize cards. So, you know, if your opponent kills one of your ex-Pokemon, let's say they kill a Ray, well, you've been setting up special circuit damage, um, then you just admin them to four, you're drawing six, and hopefully that'll, uh, hurt their hand a little bit i mean sh shuffle drawing to four is pretty bad uh so i think four rockets i mean makes a lot of sense in this deck for sure especially when it's a little bit one of the slower ones in the format okay so you also play three holland mentor uh holland mentor i love this count in this list i've said this in other videos before but i think three holland mentor should be the new meta i think two is like it's just not as good because <laughs> like so many of the games in this format are decided by, well, did I start a mentor? Can I set up my evolution Pokemon? No. Very cool. Uh, I guess I'll delta draw with a cast form for nothing. Or yes, I'm going to also set up my Pokemon and be drawing cards and also be consistent with my energy because it finds cast form. Uh, and in this deck, it finds Chimeco as well. So just such a good card uh, in general. And I think three makes a ton of sense. So you discard a card from your hand, search your deck for three basic Pokemon that has less than 100 HP. Rayquaza EX is the only basic that that can't grab, but that doesn't really matter um and then yeah you just set up your board so really good uh and then you bench them and then draw with cast form really really solid card for not only uh setting up but also keeping your energy consistent with holland's cast form this will be two holland adventurer there are a ton of delta species pokemon in this deck so this card makes a ton of sense uh so holland adventure discard a card from your hand all the holland supporters say discard a card from your hand uh draw three cards if you discarded a pokemon that has delta on its card draw four cards instead so there are a lot of matchups in this format and some cards in this list are just going to be dead that's just how it goes like you might not need executor or you might not need ray or one of the muse or you know maybe even this flygon ex it really depends on what your what the board is like and what you're what you're facing um but being able to not only discard those to thin uh but also draw an additional card i mean discard one draw three is pretty mad but discard one draw four is actually not bad at all uh so being able to utilize holland adventure to the fullest in that way is really clutch especially because there are there are going to be some types that you don't really care about in some matchups that you can just chuck with uh holland adventure which is super cool so to play holland researcher this is your one way to find rayquaza ex delta species uh so discard a card from your hand we can't do that you can't play this card switch your deck for a special metal energy card which you play one of so you can do that with this card um or a basic pokemon or evolution card with delta on its card show it to your opponent put it in your hand so they can get delta uh rayquaza the only things that that can't grab is the four cast form but otherwise it grabs every pokemon in the deck so it's really good for finding evolution pokemon uh gets your flygons out you know gets your flygon ex can find your muse as well i mean you can get those with mentor but just playing more pokemon search when when the pokemon are uh, a big part of your deck makes a lot of sense this will play one uh holland scientist so holland scientist discard a card from your hand if you have less cards than your opponent draw to match them so this is for one of those situations where your opponent just happens to have a really big hand steven's advice is one of the better cards in this format um and sometimes your opponent just steven's advice is into like six cards and then they have like a 12 card hand they only play like two cards and they still have like a 10 card hand so there are some situations where you can just abuse the heck out of holland scientist because your opponent has a massive hand and you know you're not punishing them with an admin but sometimes you don't even want that sometimes you just need to find cards so that you keep up the pace of the game so holland scientist great card in some situations okay so getting into some of the energy lines now uh deck plays four hull and rainbow energy makes a lot of sense just because you know you have access to that with uh flygon delta species you can accelerate that and with the amount of different types of attackers that you play having access to any type of energy just keeps you a little bit more consistent as well uh, and then three lightning energy, like I said, Rayquaza EX is a solid attacker in the deck and you do want to be attacking with that in uh, a fair amount of situations. It can be really good and you only need one lightning to attack. So, I mean, just being consistent and having that lightning, you get a researcher, you get a lightning, you get a switch option. That's not swoop. Um, and then you just start attacking with Ray. If your opponent takes a prize on you and they go up on you. 
You also play two Psychic Energy. Um, this is for, you know, Flygon EX, but also just because sometimes with Mew, you're going to have to find uh, certain things that your opponent has. Some of the energy lines, I mean, I guess it would change meta dependent um, on whether or not, like, what is amazing, what is not amazing. And maybe one uh, cut that I might like to see in this deck would maybe be, like, a second Fighting Energy because Executor is so good. You don't use it for... Uh, you can only use it for split bomb rather but also like split bomb is really good setting up those knockouts for later in the game can be the difference between uh taking like five turns to take four prizes and four turns to take four prizes okay so you also play one special metal uh so you can look it up with researcher that's the i think that's the reason that you just play one just because there are some situations like i guess the chimeco situation uh flygon delta species not the ex but the regular is metal type as well so you can uh especially if something's sniping it like let's say you got a flygon on the bench and you're versus a tyranitar and you're getting spinning tail that's really not optimal you don't really want to be getting hit for 20 every turn um but if you put a special metal on there you're only getting hit for 10 a turn which is significantly better uh, so it's probably one fighting energy, uh, mostly for Exeggutor, but also to utilize with Mew. And it's, you know, fulfills the colorless. You just kind of play lots of different energy depending on what you need at one what point and against what deck because copy and mimicry really depends on what you're up against. Uh, so play one grass. The grass energy is for the Flygon. I mean, you can use grass for Flygon. Um, and then the water energy as well. So water energy is the only one of energy that just lets you attack with rainbow wave and only against water types. Um, but yeah, just keeping the energy mixed up because there are a lot of different types of attackers in this deck and you never know what you're going to need. Okay, well, uh, yeah, this has been uh, Zaya Lee's Flagon RS to PK list. Uh, if you have any questions about this deck, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, and if you like the video, please give her a like and a sub. It really helps me out. I'm trying to reach... 500 subs i'm gonna give you guys a uh we're gonna do a, a little bit of a giveaway once we reach 500 so definitely hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet and uh thanks so much for tuning in we will see you next time